Why should you buy a house during a pandemic? What's up, guys? It's Alex Blythe with eXp Realty, and this is Ask Alex TV, where you ask questions and I answer them. Before we get started, just real quick, this particular episode is geared more towards folks that have been looking to buy a house before the national pandemic actually took full effect, more so than folks that are just now thinking about entering the market. I don't want anybody to get the wrong idea that I'm trying to take advantage of the situation. I'm just trying to provide you guys with information so that you can make the best well-informed decision for you and your family at home. In this episode, we're gonna cover historical low interest rates, stimulus package money, my personal refi story, and how we are practicing safe social distancing while we're conducting real estate business. All right, guys, let's jump right in. Historical low interest rates, the lowest we've seen them in years. You've probably heard your friends and family talking about it. You've seen it on the news. What it equates to is more buying power. Just a few months ago, before all of this pandemic stuff took place, you could have gotten a pre-approval at three and a half, three and a quarter, four and a quarter. And for that same monthly payment, now with rates even lower than they were before the pandemic took place, you can buy even more house with the same payment. Now, stimulus package money. Side note, I want you to know that money should definitely go towards making sure ends are met at home, food is on the table, and bills are paid. If all of that is good and you're thinking about using that money towards real estate, why not? Nothing says that that money cannot go towards a down payment, paying some closing costs, buying down your interest rate. There's a lot of different options there. Something that I get asked a lot is, should I do it now? What if I wait a little bit? Are the rates gonna go down even more? Listen. I cannot predict the future, and I have no idea what the interest rates are gonna do overall uh, through all of this pandemic. But one thing that I do wanna touch base on is the opportunity cost and the cost of waiting. Personal story here, I did a personal refi myself. When I first bought my house, I was at 3.99%. Here recently, the 30-year fixed mortgage rate was advertised at uh, 3.125. I pulled the trigger, and right then, it was 3.125. Had I waited even more, or just even a few days, it actually jumped from 3.125 to 3.5, and in even some situations, a few days after that, 3.75 before it came down even lower. So the reason I share that is, is that there is a little part of this that you could be kind of stingy in the sense of like, hey, what if I wait a little bit, but what happens if they don't go down, and what if they go up? We've covered the historical low interest rates, my personal refi story, and now you may be thinking, you know what, Alex? I think I'm ready to pull the trigger, but is it safe? And by safe, I mean, with the pandemic going on, how can I ensure the health of myself and my family if we're out looking at houses? There's been a lot of different technology that has come to the surface that a lot of rural tours in town are using, such as virtual showings, open houses, Facebook Lives, video tours, you name it, us agents are doing it. And more so, even when you go in person to view a house, we have gloves, masks, Clorox wipes, and even disinfecting doorknobs and light switches in between the showings. We're taking extra care and caution to ensure your safety and especially practicing safe social distancing. All right, guys, we have covered the historical low interest rates, my personal refi story, and the steps that agents are taking to ensure your safety, our safety, homeowner safety, buyer safety during this pandemic while shopping for real estate. If you guys have any questions, give me a shout, maybe connect with your favorite loan officer to get a pre-approval done to see what your interest rate is gonna shake out at. But I'm here for you guys. Stay safe, be well, and stay tuned for many more episodes of Ask Alex TV. If you enjoyed today's episode of Ask Alex TV and the information provided, well, you know what? You're in luck because there's plenty more where that came from. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Stay tuned for Facebook for some snippets. And in the meantime, you guys know the drill. Ask Alex. We're sanitizing and exercising. We're spraying and we're praying. Spray and pray. Have you seen that? <laughs>